one thing you have to keep in mind is that they are basically calling God a liar. Uh, God says in Romans 1 that the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen so that they have no excuse and, and that he reveals his eternal power and Godhead through the creation. So creation is speaking to, to all nations. The heavens declare the glory of the God, not a you know unknown God, but the God of Scripture. The heavens are declaring his eternal power and Godhead through the fact that the ordinances of heaven obey him that he is higher than the heavens, that the ordinances of the sun, moon, and the stars um, obey him. And, you know, his faithfulness is displayed through the uniformities in nature, through the sunrise, through the, you know, the day unto day, as uttering speech, night unto night, so the sun and the moon rising every day, following mathematical precision, uh, never wavering or varying is displaying God's eternal power and Godhead in such a way that nobody has any excuse um, to say that they don't know that this God exists or that they're atheists. They're atheists are willingly ignorant. That's why the Bible means when it says the fool hath said in his heart there is no God. So God is showing Himself through through creation, His faithfulness, His His mercies that He that He supplies everything that we need. That um, that He's made us higher uh, than the angel or I'm sorry higher than the animals as far as uh, um, wiser than the animals um, but sin degenerates the mind sin makes us act like animals and 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 makes us depraved and so the sinful heart the sinful mind the mind that is uh, hardened in pride and and the the mind that is infected by the lust of the flesh refuses to see the glory of God that refuses to see God speaking or listen to God speaking through his creation so when you're talking to unbelievers keep that in mind like don't take the, uh, don't, don't take the position that God's the one at fault God's the one that's not clear take the Bible position that God is clear he does reveal himself immediately to all creation all creatures he's immediately known you know you don't have to arrive at, at, at his existence through a series of arguments the Bible shows that he's immediately known uh, to to all to all flesh, and the heavens declare it. The the sun, moon, and the stars, um, day unto day, is uttering speech. And ultimately, if they were to reflect upon their own thoughts, that not only is God upholding the ordinances of heaven, He's upholding us by the word of His power. Like we may, we maintain existence. We could not exist were it not for God. Um, holding us in existence, maintaining our existence. And also the thoughts of our heart, the thoughts of our mind are dependent upon universal laws, you know, like we've been talking about, uh, universal immaterial laws. Our mind depends upon those. So every thought you think is dependent upon the God of the Bible. All right, so just remind uh, atheists of that, remind the people you're evangelizing to that and don't let them accuse God of being unclear in his revelation accuse them of being stubborn and willingly willingly ignorant of his revelation okay you are good, for you are good.